Hi guys, this is Simon from uh, Nobbly's YouTube channel, uh, home of KentByways.co.uk. Just thought I'd, uh, I spoke about it before in my, one of my last videos uh, on my walk around of my tiger that I've got a set of Gobi, Hepco and Becker panniers. Now I just thought I'd do a quick review on what they are, how they look, how they fit, etc, etc. So hopefully this will be helpful for you guys out there if you're looking at panniers for basically they fit any old bike you like just need to get the framework to fit that bike and then the panniers can clip on what I liked about the uh, the new pannier frames because I originally had them on a 955 Tiger they were actually bolted to uh, a locking plate on on the top here then the new the new frameworks have got like a bit like a quick release bolt system so what, what you basically do is you connect this long arm here and you have a, a stud there and then if you have if you have a look closely I've got some big hex bolts there and there how they locate is basically they locate in there and if you just turn them quite stiff because obviously they've got to take a lot of battering about from wind of the bike and stuff you can unturn that one unlock that one which is unlocked Unlock the rear one. Like that. And once you've done, I'm not going to take them off this time. But once you've done this bottom one as well, the whole pannier frame releases off the bike. And you can put it in a garage, not use it, flog it onto somebody else. So that's, that's the new design that Hepco and Becker have sort of brought out. I, I think they've had it out for a couple of years now, but... As I say, my original 955 Tiger, they were bolt on and you have to undo the bolts and it's took ages to take the frames off. But at least with this new system, they're sort of a bit like a quick release, release system for the pannier frames. Right, that's, that's the pannier frames. Uh, as you can see, sunny Ainsford is actually not raining today, which is quite handy for this little review. So, yep, pannier frames are really sturdy. They do take drops when you're off-road because I've dropped it and I've just a question of sanding it down, spraying it again. They're braced by each other by this bar across there, it runs across the back. Uh, and you can get all the fixings separately. I.e. if you lose one of these locking catches you can buy that separately from Hepco and Becker. So quite a good little design. Quite easy to fit to the bike. There's, there's, there's a pannier on the floor there. As you can see, they have a little locking lock -in arm to keep the door open. Pretty well sealed around the outside. And just a little wire to stop it from going over. So if I lock it down, like that. Very, very sturdy cage, uh, catches on them. All lockable. All right, I'll pick up the pannier. And then I can fit the pannier to the bike. Again, it's just a sort of question of locating it within the bike now i fit one panier here i've got triumph tiger 800 xc so i'm just going to fit the other one to the other side as i say okay it's just like that and there you go so it's all located and all you do is lock these catches on with a key unlock it put a catch on it pulls it in very very tightly and lock it and that lays flat uh, as you can see from the from the tiger they're both the same size as these from the back so therefore from the tiger's perspective and any bike that's got a side can like this bike the right hand pannier does stick out further than the left uh, but i find them very durable excellent panniers uh, you can sit on them I'm about 18 and a half, 19 stone, and they don't deform when I sit on them. Uh, another nice little feature with these ones, you can get them with the taps or without the taps. And what you've got, you've got a little tap down here, and there's a water reservoir within the pannier itself. So if I open up the top, you 
there she goes open up you can see quite a lot of room in there quite a nice pair well built very sturdy and what we've got we've got two little bungs one there and one there and what these are what the way Hepco and Becker have done they've built a water reservoir in between the outer and inner plastic skins so you can fill them up with water uh, and I'll show you that in a second just a little feature I want to uh, show you guys uh, one of the main reasons for buying these Gobia panniers from Hepco and Becker is uh, the water reservoir that each pannier has built within it basically what you've got you've got a water reservoir in between the two skins the outer and inner skin plastic skin of the pannier itself so therefore down in that hole is a water reservoir that runs all the way around the whole pannier another hole there for putting water in uh, and basically you have a tap down the bottom there little tap these come extra when you buy the you can you buy the panniers as standard panniers and you have to pay extra for the taps but I think it's just a question of buying a tap screwing it on sealing it and there you go now all you have to do with these things is this little funnel doesn't come with them I had to get this from someone like Halfords but you, we're talking 50p for a little funnel just there just put it on top and just fill the pannier up with water these panniers take seven seven and a half points each so you potentially you've got 14 15 pints of water with you uh, i've just been on a trip around europe took them away full come back and i still had water in them so obviously once once you finish from your adventure trip or wherever you're going just empty them more so the water goes stale but that's me putting a little bit of water in and it's just a question of turning the tap on and there's your water supply obviously you can use the water for anything drinking it uh, that's the only other thing I ever put in it I mean I've, I've heard some people say yeah you could put red wine in one side white wine in the other side very good if you're traveling through France but uh, I stick to water because I can make a cup of tea a pot noodle or whatever so I mean I love the panniers to bits I think they're a great investment they cost me 250 quid off eBay the frames probably another 150 quid because they were brand new uh, and I think I have kept going back are you talking 500 quid but what this does it just gives us a, gives you a different alternative to the metal framed alloy well, the metal alloy panniers you can get as well obviously you can't have a water reservoir in those um, yep perfectly fine I love them to bits so well worth investment uh, so that's the Hepco and Becker Gobi Panniers with Water Reservoir. Okay, thanks for thanks for watching the video again. Uh, probably be making some more soon, so I'll see you see you guys soon. Thanks very much. Cheers.